Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, is very exciting. We got our second sneak peeks for Mad Mobile 22. Today was a major focus on the journey program or the journey that's going to be in Mad Mobile 22. Uh, Shane, who is a developer with EA, was on the stream with Nick, who is our community manager, to be able to show these things, answer some questions, and I've got a lot of helpful insight and information about Mad Mobile 22 to share with you in this video today. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. 70% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes. So, um, this is the first screenshot. We're gonna just start out with this. So Journey is what we were focusing on today, and then also some of the ranking up and level up systems are going to be shown as well, um, and some of, some of the smaller aspects of the game or whatever. So this is kind of the home screen here. Um, so seasons is not going to be linked to ultimate team this year You won't be able to place your ultimate team in seasons and seasons is just separate So when you go into the game, this is the home hub So you can either go into seasons if you're just a casual player who only does that or you can go into ultimate team Upgrade your stuff do all the other stuff that we're really focused on what's also very cool that black bar at the bottom I didn't get a, an official screenshot of when it had stuff on there But what's gonna be cool about that is that's gonna have an NFL news ticker on it So it'll have some news and things within there. Maybe it's game scores um, maybe Maybe it's, um... I don't know, maybe, you know, this person retires or this person has a milestone game or something like that, or an injury. Maybe it's something like that. Just NFL news. Very, very cool, I think. And I think what would also be cool, I don't know if they're able to do this, but what if they did, like, on Sundays, they do, like, a scoreboard? Or maybe there's, like, a whole Sunday program or something like that where there's a scoreboard that kind of slides along. You play games within there. I think that'd be really cool. Maybe they can do something like that, but it looks like they're doing some NFL news things. So that's very, very cool. Uh, moving on to the next screenshot. So we're talking about journey today now if you have played men mobile before i think journey is going to be very similar to master series there are obviously going to be some different things about it um it's not just going to be your normal stuff play a couple events here and there um but it definitely is very similar to master series it's going to have stages different groups of events i don't know if they're calling each one a specific journey i believe that's what it's called so you're starting off at launch with three different journeys um it's going to be journey genesis that's your starting one and then after you complete journey genesis you're going to have the AFC and NFC Journey unlocked uh, to be able to play. It looks like Journey, Genesis, you have to complete those, obviously, to get AFC and NFC. Um, in each stage and in each journey, it looks like there's going to be five different stages, and it's very similar to Master Series, but you're going to get a player after each stage, it looks like. You can just see how it works at stage zero. I didn't get a screenshot of this, but it's going to be a tutorial of the game um, where it just shows you how to play different buttons, new players to the game, because Journey is going to be one of the base modes. You have to do some stuff in Journey to be able to unlock different areas of the game, maybe select and complete a stage to unlock arena or leagues or something like that. So Journey is going to be really your main focus. This is, I, I would argue that this year, obviously they're, they're not using this language, but I would argue that Journey is the backbone of the game for this this season I really think it is they are really trying to paint that picture even more than last year even though they said that last year so like I said each journey is gonna have five players one for each stage completing a stage is going to give you a player these players will be 80 overall and can be trained to a higher overall it looks by the looks of it, it looks like the five players you're going to get from this first journey are going to be Tom Brady Patrick Mahomes Ladanian Tomlinson Marcus Williams and Dante Jackson which is very very cool so those will be your five players I believe they start at 80 overall like I said you can train them up some of the information about journey that's very cool for this season is first of all there's no time locks or key locks in the previous master series you had to wait multiple times usually before you could get into the next stage or whatever unlock different things you were locked based on time obviously there's going to be different locks and areas that you have to do based on other things but there's no specific key locks and no time locks meaning you have to wait and spend other stuff to get past those locks one of the locks i guess you could call it to be able to do these are going to be lineup requirements this is one of the main reasons we have multiple lineups this year you're not just going to be using your lineup and it's just whatever you play the event as you can see for example on this event it says you have a lineup requirement level five plus halfback on lineup so you're going to have specific team requirements that you need to fulfill to be able to complete these different 
different things. Now, my guess is that they're going to be very similar. Your lineups, you may not have, it's not going to be like a new lineup every single time. My guess is that you're going to have a couple lineups, maybe your main lineup, you'll have a lineup that's purely for Master Series where you just have some upgraded level players, um, but maybe you have some different stuff where your some of your players are high overall. But for example, you're going to have lineup requirements. This is why we have multiple lineups so you can customize it for different things in Journey. I think that's really, really cool. You kind of have to figure that out, what you need to do. Fill in the piece of the puzzle is what one of the things Shane said to be able to find exactly what you're looking for to be able to complete the event. Maybe you weren't able to play it before, but now since you have the higher overall, since you have the better overall plus five level on a specific player, whatever, there you go. Rewards, obviously you're probably just getting some basic currencies and things like that. But one of the things that we talked about in the last stream is that there's going to be bonus objectives within events. So this might be a fourth quarter. So for example, the example Shane gave is, you know, we have our fourth quarter event. Come back in the fourth quarter, you're only down by one point. Most people are just gonna run out the clock, kick a field goal or score a last second touchdown to win the event. It's boring for everybody, it gets repetitive. Something like this though, might have achievements more like kick two field goals then there you go you have to kick a field goal you have to get the ball back and do it again if you complete that bonus objective you get extra stuff so that's really really cool i believe the currencies that you're getting from doing some of these extra things are going to be called keys and those are going to be used in trades sets have been renamed to trades we'll have more information on those probably next week we'll have a lot of information um, but they're going to work a little bit differently it's more of a progress bar than actual physical tangible set items don't know much more about that. That's all I can really say because that's all we really know. But we might be getting keys from these bonus objectives that are going to be used in trades. So that's something very, very cool that I really enjoy. Um, also in stage zero, you're going to be getting a 70 overall Nick Chubb. That could all be subject to change. I'm not sure if that's just a filler player or whatever. But at the moment, a 70 overall Nick Chubb is what you get from completing stage zero. And then obviously, you're going to probably get your other 80 overalls from the other events as well. Now, Shane also went through and showed us a little bit more. So in the programs there is a thing called the rookie center the rookie center is more for a lot of the newer players that's kind of the goal of it newer players are going to want to check this out to learn how the game is going to work for a lot of us we may not need this however if you see in the little screen in the top left you can claim madden cash you can get some free madden cash from just even looking at these you literally can click on it so you could not even care about any of the content in there get the free man cash there you go but for new players this is going to be really cool because it's going to teach you how to play the game and right now we can look at this and kind of learn ahead of time how this game is going to work the bottom it says upgrade level up your players to get overall but you can also rank up your players to get more overall more leveling and stars ranking them up is going to get you higher overall that's your goal to get your player higher overall Every day you're progressing through your journey and completing daily goals, and then you're collecting players and resources by playing the tour, getting resources from the training center, complete trades to get more players. Uh, tour, this is more of a man today type promo thing. I think they're going to be showing us that next week. They've been hyping it up a lot, so that's very cool. So that's kind of the basics. So you're your goal is to upgrade your team and you're getting that by playing more events and collecting players and resources just kind of how the game works just in general that's how it's always worked rarity has changed this year there's no more gold elite diamond whatever there's going to be it's very similar to a lot of other games uh obviously same colors and items as fortnite and stuff so common players are going to be your silver uh ask i guess uh just your green is going to be uncommon rare is going to be blue and epic is going to be purple i would assume they do have um overall it's probably very similar the the uncommon probably 70 and up rare is 80 and up i'm guessing epic is 90 up so i think they just have new names but once again the training up the players does make it a little bit different this year um something else to note is that players of high rarity are going to gain overall at a higher rate than those of lower rarity so you're able to level those players get the higher overall quicker than some of the lower cards the next system is the level up you can navigate to the training center and arena to acquire resources needed to level up your players you will see there's going to be overall once you level them up to different levels there's a difference of tom brady at level zero up to level 15 and he has a big overall boost there that's kind of a very similar thing well that's just how level up is going to work and you're going to get a lot of those resources by playing arena and training center it looks like um, the final thing is for example lineup requirements in order to progress in journeys you must acquire a wide variety of players level and rank them up to unlock even more journey content so um lineup requirements you can see on the left you may not have the thing that you can use for the journey it'll say level three plus halfback on lineup uh, and then it'll say the lineup requirement is not met and when you do finally meet it it'll show you that it's eligible and the lineup requirement has been met and you can play the next journey we talked about that a little bit but that's how that's going to work 
one of the things they said that they're going to focus on this year and we've heard this quite a bit is they want to make sure that the core base of the game is kept up on um that's going to be a priority because last year a lot of this kind of stuff a lot of the base stuff in the game was not updated and all we had left was promo so they're going to try to make sure the base of the game which is not the promo so the base of the game is a lot of the journey and that kind of stuff that's kept up to date and uh constantly updated we have more journeys right now we're launching with these three but there will be more in the future today made me really really excited for this game i am super super excited to get into playing this game when it does come out next friday could potentially come out earlier i'm thinking maybe thursday might be the day it comes out we'll see but that is this next week we will have a lot more sneak peeks and stuff now i'll be out of town earlier in the week but i will do my very best to try to get videos out when they do show us there's going to be two streams on tuesday and two streams on wednesday showing us more things one of the main things we're seeing is gameplay on tuesday i guess that's not really much of a video that i can make other than just re-showing the videos that I can just tell you to do. So we'll see what happens with that. That is all I have to share today. Like I said, there will be more, but thank you so much for watching this video. Today's post notification shout out to Clutch Juggler. Be the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post notification shout out. But anyways, guys, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm the Goose TV and I'm out. I will see you guys later.